morning. We'll just give our friends a couple seconds to join us before we begin toddler time. Today, I am not in my kitchen. I am back in the library getting ready to do toddler time with you today. So of course, I have my mask here to wear when I'm not all by myself in the room. And we are getting ready to talk all about animals on the farm today. I have a bunch of puppets with me. Good morning. And I have some fun books. I think we will read today Clip Clop by Nicole Smee. Oh, this one's excellent. Good morning out there. And I think we're going to read peek a -moo, which is a fun book with peek a -boo. Good morning. All right, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Miss Becky, and I work at the Sweetwater County Library System. And this is Lily. She is my toddler for toddler time. So if you are watching with a little one, you can hold your toddler on your lap. You can hold your toddler on your lap and you can sing and talk right to them. You can lay, if you have a baby, you can lay your baby down so you can play with toes and talk to them. Whatever is most comfortable for you. And if you are a big brother and sister, and you are doing our finger rhymes all by yourself, welcome. Let's get started with our opening song. We're gonna sing if you're happy to be here, and we're gonna use some sign language. So if we're happy, we brush up on our chest like we have a good feeling inside. And then the sign for here, our hands are down from us like we're motioning to this place that we're at. This is where we're at. And of course, we're gonna clap our hands. All right. If you're happy to be here, clap your hands. If you're happy to be here, clap your hands. If you're happy to be here, place a smile right there. If you're happy to be here, clap your hands. Welcome everyone to Toddler Time. We are going to talk about being on the farm today. And on the farm, you will see lots and lots of different animals. You might see a puppy dog helping a farmer do chores and help with important work on the farm. You might see if the farmer has a pond, a duck. This is a baby duck. It's a duckling. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, it's another animal you might see, especially here in Wyoming, you might see a sheep. Oh, and look at this sheep. He has long white fur. He's very soft. And sheep say, bah, bah. And how about this animal? We see this kind of animal on the farm all the time. We see these all over Green River even. You can go drive through the horse corrals and visit them. It's a horse. And a horse says, nay. And we are going to do a bouncing rhyme all about horses. And this horse has a horseshoe on its foot. They help protect the horse's foot when they are running and doing lots of things. And we are gonna put shoes on our feet too. So it goes like this. We're gonna tap, tap, tap. Shoe the old horse and let's switch feet. Shoe the old mare, but let the little pony ride. Bear, bear, bear. And we'll do some bouncing. Or you can take your feet and you can tap them together at the same time. Tap tap tap. Ready? Shoe the old horse, shoe the old mare, but let the little pony ride bear, bear, bear. Just like that. So the next time you are out and about, 
you can go see some real horses in Green River at the horse corrals. We like to do that. We just drive around them. And that also brings us to our literacy tip of the day. Um, the more words you share, the bigger vocabulary your little one will have. So instead of saying, oh, look, a cow, or oh, look, a horse, you can use a lot of words to talk about what you're looking at. You can say, oh, look at this brown horse. And do you see the black mane? And do you see the white stripe on its nose? You can talk about where the horse is and maybe what it's eating. Maybe it's going to eat some hay. So the more words you share, even at the youngest of ages, the larger vocabulary they'll gain. Let's read a book. And since we just did a bounce about a horse, we're going to read this book. And this book is super fun because we are going to ride a horse. Boop, doop, 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 doop. All right, let's see what these. So if you were at home, get ready to do some clip clopping. And this is by Nicole Smee. Oh, and look at who is on her. There's a little duck and a pig and a puppy dog and a cat. Clip clop. Who wants a ride? asks Mr. Horse. Me, please, says Cat. Ready? Clip clop, clippity clop, clip clop, clippity clop. I want a ride too, please, Mr. Horse, says Dog. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Ready? Clip clop, clippity clop, clip clop, clippity clop. What about me? I want a ride too, please, Mr. Horse, says Pig. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Ready? Clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Don't let, don't leave me behind, says Duck. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Can you go a little faster, Mr. Horse? Ask cat and dog and pig and duck. Of course I can, says Mr. Horse, but make sure you hold on tight. And if you're bouncing at home, ready? Clip clop, clippy clop, clip clop, clippy clop, faster, faster. Clip clop, clippy clop, clip clop, clippy clop, faster, faster. Oh, they are going so fast. Ready? We're gonna bounce really fast. Clip clop, clippy clop, clip clop, clippy clop. Whoa! Whoa! Stop! We're falling off! Squeal cat and dog and pig and duck. Mr. Horse skids to a halt, and cat and dog and pig and duck fly through the air. Whoa! And land in a haystack. Plop, plop, ploppity, plop. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie me, says worried Mr. Horse. Do you think they're okay? Again, cry cat and dog and pig and duck. Up you get, laughs Mr. Horse. And cat and dog and pig and duck go riding off again. Clip clop, clippity clop, clip clop, clippity clop. The end. That's a good book for lots of bouncing and fun. Now we are going to, hmm, we are gonna sing a little clapping song. We are gonna do bingo. And of course, here I have my puppy dog. His name could be Bingo. So we are going to do some swaying or some bouncing. And then when we get to B-I-N-G-O, we'll do some clapping. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B. -I -N -G -O, B -I -N -G -O. I-N-G-O, Bingo was his name-o. 
Should we add this puppy dog to my lap? All right, ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh. Now you might remember that one where you repeat over and over again and then skip some letters, but we don't do that in toddler time. Let's read another book. We're going to read Pika Moo, written by Marie Torres Smootsy and illustrated by Stephanie Peterson. And we've read some of these before, so we know we have to cover up our eyes and say Pika Moo. And oink and the moo and the cock-a-doodle-doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peekaboo? Do you know who this is? Guess who? Pika moo, says the cow. Oh, guess who? Who could this be? Pika, oink, 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 says the pig. Can you make all these animal sounds at home? Guess who? Who could this be with the big round ears? <gasps> squeak, says the mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Guess who? Pika. Who? Says the owl. Guess who? Pika, cock a doodle do says the rooster. Can you do that one again? Ready? Guess who? Pika, cock a doodle do Guess who? Pika, ba says the sheep. Oh, we saw one of these. Guess who? Pika. Says the duck. Guess who? What do you say? Look, it's a baby. Pika. Boo! Says you. Peekaboo. Those are such fun books, and of course, you can check them all out here at the library. All right, let's read, or let's sing. Let's sing one more song. And we're going to sing about some of our animal friends here. And look, here's a chicken. We're gonna sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And then just for fun, after we sing the animal, we're gonna throw it way up in the air. I'm ready, you ready? Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a buck buck here and a buck buck there, here a buck, there a buck, everywhere a buck buck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Ready? Bye, chicken! See, what animal should we do next? Let's do the sheep. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Ready? Goodbye, sheep. Let's do one more verse. We'll do a kitty cat. There are lots of cats on farms. They do important work too. And on that farm he had a cat. E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow there and a meow meow here. There are meow, there are meow, 
everywhere. Meow, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Bye, kitty cats. Meow, meow, meow. Thank you so much for joining me for toddler time today. I had a wonderful time as always. We have our grab and go bags this week at all three libraries. I'll be back on Wednesday for story time. There's another crafting with Constance on Thursday and stories with Sunny on Friday and every day, Monday through Friday, right here with Mr. Aaron. He's going to read us a chapter book at 2 p.m. Thank you for joining me. Let's sing our goodbye song. We're going to sing the more we get together and I hope we get together again really soon. And we'll do the sign for more. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you for joining me for toddler time today. I hope you have lots of fun talking about all the different animals that live on the farm. And you remember, you can come to the library and check out lots of books about the farm too. Bye everyone.